Today I picked 8 Roblox roleplay games with 0 players, ranging from a few thousand visits all the way up to 100 plus million. The first game here is Delaware State Roleplay Beta, and this was last updated 1 month ago, 0 active, 0 visits, 0 favourites. Alright, let's take a look. Oh no, okay I see, I see what's happened here. My guess is they accidentally installed a virus and so we can't play. Next up is Lakewood County version 2. This was last updated one day ago, zero active, just under 4,000 visits. From the thumbnails, this actually looks pretty interesting. Mainly a firefighting based roleplay game. Seems like there's a lot of assets loading. I'm kind of just frozen on the loading screen. The game is slowly forming around me. Seems like there's a lot of assets to load in. Phone doesn't seem to work, unfortunately. Thought this would be a map or maybe even the internet, but doesn't seem to work. Some cars up there. Maybe we can steal one. These are just here as uh, props. You can't actually get in, sadly. Well, right now, at least we're in a relatively large housing area. It is kind of laggy as well. There's a lot loading in. This is the main high street, I think. Oh, we found City Hall. Perfect. This is where we need to be. Looking pretty empty inside. I think they've all moved out of here. Um, yeah, I don't really see anyone or anything. We've got a couple of stores over here. We've got a couch store. We've got some apparel and uniforms. Okay, pretty nice, pretty nice. We've got some more houses, lots of uh, parked cars around here. It does make it feel a lot more alive, I will say that. Even with no one else playing the game, it does make a difference just having a couple of cars parked around. I could see this being a nice little park in the evenings just to chill out by. A lot of benches. They definitely have that uh, covered. Unfortunately, after searching for quite some time, I haven't found the fire station, nor a way to actually join the team. It does actually look like a promising and interesting roleplay game from these thumbnails. I just need to actually figure out how to join the teams. Next game on the list is California State Roleplay. And we're jumping from 4,000 to 70,000 visits, yet zero active as the game was last updated one year ago. By joining this game, it means that you will correctly roleplay at your best. Okay, well, uh, let's give this a go. We have, what is this behind us? Rows of trees. It kind of looks like a farm. This is the sheriff's office. I think the logo is glitching slightly, but let's take a look inside. Lots of empty offices. Like the other game, it looks like everyone's kind of moved out of here. One thing we can do in this game is uh, spawn a vehicle. Here we go, 2011 Crown Victoria. Only civilian vehicle I could find to spawn in. Okay, so we're on the edge of the map. It seems we're in a small town. The map extends that way. All right, let's get a move on. To our left, I believe those are some small farms. We can head down this road, I suppose, there's a bit of a detour, check things out. Yeah, down here we have some massive houses. Three garages on that one house, but then I suppose they own all this property. That's pretty cool, actually. A lot of farms to our left, and we've got some more houses over here. It does look like a nice place to live. Yet again, an insane amount of garages for one house. Can we back up? Oh, we can. We can actually park in here. Definitely in the industrial district. Take a look at that massive American flag. I think I'm lost. This is the airport. Doesn't look like there's much over there, though. I'm trying to find the city, if there is one. This is probably a good time to check out the other teams. We've got civilian... California Highway Patrol and California Fire Rescue. Let's enter our call sign 245 and join the CHP. All right, we've got ourselves a uniform, Scala, I think it's called a Scala, and a utility belt. This is uh, where we keep the prisoners, I think. Not quite sure how we're supposed to put people in there, but that is our little cell. Look at this HUD for the car. Pretty nice. A uh, bunch of camera options. Oh, we got first person. That is sweet. I think they have blacked out the windows though, because I can just see my smile. It's actually good that it's just turning daytime because my lights do not work. So we've got a small high street for the town there. Uh, I think this is a train bridge? Yes, that is. Uh, there we go, the sun is rising and I'm struggling to keep this car on the road. Taking a look at the California Fire Rescue. Uh, looks like we've got quite a bit in our inventory. Yeah, wow. Attack line, cones, cutters, fire axe, flares. I think this is some sort of oxygen reader. K12, ladder, MRE, pike pole, power drill, ventilation fan, and of course, a fire extinguisher. I think I know where I am. Oh yeah, the town is just over there, uh, up top. We've got a, quite a few uniforms to choose from. Oh no, okay, I definitely wasn't supposed to spawn the vehicle there. Pretty intriguing game, and it seems like they do have quite a lot of tools on the departments. Definitely set in the rural part of California. 
so much farms, fields, country houses, all of that. But playing with friends, I'd say this actually could be quite a bit of fun. Up next, we'll be checking out Deer Lodge County with just under 100,000 visits. Last updated four days ago, so it does seem like they're still actively working on this game. And yet again, another fire slash police oriented roleplay game. We've got two things in our inventory. I've got my fists and my ID card. Um, there I am. Still seems like this map is in winter, which you love to see. But let's take a look around. It seems like we should be able to break the windows, but... I think that's uh, slightly bugged. We've got a teleport menu. Okay, so we can teleport to the different stations. Very helpful for this video. We can teleport to different parts of the town. Actually, looks like this is quite a big place. Here we are in the town. We've got everything from clothing shops to coffee shops, lakeside lofts, looking nice. I love the scenery though. Mountains in the distance, looks nice. Surprisingly, nearly every building on this street has an interior. I'm curious what's going on here. We've got some trucks. We've got these massive tanks, I'm guessing. Big warehouse, I'm guessing, since there's lots of pallets everywhere. There's actually four different fire stations we can teleport to. So you can see they're definitely invested in the fire department. We're at station 22-1. This seems to be an absolutely massive facility. Seems they are still working on this, since like the other games, another pretty empty interior. Upstairs, we have some more detail. Looks like a dispatching thing up there, I think. Or maybe that's a, a unit manager up there. What is over? Okay, well, they've got their own mini cinema in here. Look at the detail in this. Yeah, this is pretty impressive, actually. Loads of vehicles in here as well. This place is massive. They've got training doors that they can break down. That is sweet. Open up the heavy rescue and we can head inside. Wow, there is a lot of equipment in here. Out the back, we have even more apparatus, both a ladder truck and two trailers, one of which has, I believe this is an inflatable boat. Yeah, water rescue team. There's a bunch of different equipment in here, loads of wood. For some reason, I honestly can't think of why they need so much wood, but uh, hydraulic struts, lifts, everything like that. Not sure what I did to the boat, but again, bunch of detail inside of here. I would honestly love to do a role play in this game. They seem to have so much detail and we've only explored one of the fire department stations. There's still three others as well as a highway patrol station. So this game really does have potential. I'm really glad I found this game and quite happy that they still update it. Though we move on to the next one, Florida Roleplay Community, with just under 300,000 visits last updated nine months ago. Massively copyrighted music playing right now whilst we're in the main menu. Okay, we're finally in the game and the copyright music has ended. There's a camera shake when I walk. Don't usually see that in games. Got myself a surrender. Wow, that is a bright light. Here we go, we've got the team selection. So we're currently a resident, and then we've got Dublin Police Department and Fire Department. Then we've got West Virginia State Police, Sheriff's Office, and SRT. Ha, huh, I don't think there's a police department, because it's just spawned me in the same place. Well, we've got a radar gun, we've got a citation book, a fire extinguisher, and a cone, 10 cones, exactly. We have a 2020 Explorer we can spawn in, Dublin City of Police. I suppose let's try and find somewhere. Since in the photos, they did advertise that there was a big town. I think I'm meant to be on this overpass, actually. Uh, oh no, maybe we can go through this tunnel. Yeah, there we go. Dublin City Terminal. I don't really have any idea where this road is leading me. But we passed McDonald's, so that's good news, I suppose. Have I found the police department? There's no badges or any name on the building, so I don't know which department this is. There's definitely a department. All right, I've joined the fire department. We've respawned back here. What about state police? Yeah, we respawn back here, so it doesn't look like it actually teleports us to departments, which is unfortunate, because I would like to uh, explore more of the map and check out everything else this game offers. So that's the state park off to the right, but I want to go up here, figure out where this road leads. Yeah, that's the tunnel that just comes out there, goes underneath us. But I feel like this is going to lead us to somewhere we haven't been. I've got to say, very dangerous roads. One wrong turn, and you are literally falling off a 50-foot cliff. I do wonder where all of this is because I wasn't able to find all of these large structures and towns. For a game that hasn't been updated in nine months, not too bad. And we move on to the next game, Argentina Roleplay 2. The game having over half a million visits. So the game was last updated only six months after the game released and still has 600,000 visits. We've got a VIP building here. 
Wow, okay. We can flex all our cash. Okay, I'm glad we can do that. I'm guessing this is a ticket. We've got a boombox, of course, very important. So many teams, I will say that. Like, look at how many there are. We have spawned in. Let's go and put on some body armor and we can get a drop holster for our gun or maybe not. Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay, cool. I uh, don't think we can get anything from the lockers, but we've got a uniform on. Welcome to the streets. We can spawn a car. There we go. I don't know if that's just me, but all of these lampposts are tilting backwards. I feel like that's a bit of an issue. I think that's supposed to be a McDonald's, but the texture's got a bit messed up on that building. This is a very small map. It's pretty much two blocks. Oh no, I take that back. There is actually more down here. Does look like a lot of the stores are just copied and pasted all over the place. I've seen the same store three times. To be fair, this is based in a completely different country and I don't understand the language, but I really am intrigued to find out how this game got 600,000 visits in only a few months before they, you know, didn't update the game ever again. Our penultimate game, New Haven County. Our first game with over a million visits. Last updated a week ago and only created at the beginning of 2022. First game we played with these blocky style cars. I'm very interested to check this one out. Okay, look at this. We spawn on the coast, looking good. And you can see we've got a mini map in the bottom left. We've got our bank, we've got our money, we've got our health. We can open our inventory by pressing G. We can open the mini map by pressing N. Oh, there we go. So we can actually, ah, okay, that's handy. That's handy. So we can see a bit more. And we're actually at the docks. There's a massive cargo ship over here, which we can head towards. Police station, okay, interesting. Interactive prompts to open the doors. Nice. So we can search criminal records. If I put my username, nothing should come up, right? OMB Crates doesn't have a criminal record. Okay, that's good. That's good. Can't get in there because it's a, a locked team. I think the biggest question I have now is how do I change to police? No way. They built a gun store right in front of the police station. That is a top tier move. We've got detailed alleyways, tons of buildings, loads of different roads you can go down, sloped roads as well. Hard to build, so you don't usually see these in roleplay games, but they have and they did. Nice. Yes, okay, I think I found the dealership. Perfect. Cars inside, that is good news. Quite a few vehicles to choose from. We've got a taxi, we've got a utility pickup truck, nice. Nice. We've got a camper van. Too expensive, sadly. Limousine. Let's just grab something that we can afford. So probably down here. We can buy the utility truck. Yeah, I'm interested to check that out. Some people like these style cars. Others don't. I think it works well if the game has that sort of style. Oh, it's manual gears as well. No wonder we we're going so slow. Even more elevation changes. Those are some massive steam stacks. I think there's a, that's what it's called coming out of this building. Seems it leads us, I'm guessing, more housing outside of the city. This map is actually quite deceiving. I thought it was just this tiny town, but now we're on this massive highway that spans so much further than I initially thought. A little motel off the side there and some tunnels. Back there, we had a small gas station. But yeah, this thing just goes. We are going to be on this road for a while now. It seems they still do update this game, which is great to see. If I could find a way to change teams, that would be even better. Maybe they're group locked or whitelisted, something like that. But yeah, this is genuinely an interesting game to play. And the map is much bigger than I initially expected. Moving on to the last game, which is Hospital Roleplay. Sitting at over 100 million visits. Last updated one month ago. And there is one person in the game. But I promise you they were not here 10 minutes ago. So this game was created in 2017 and I think the building style shows, hello, we've got a police station, fire station and a hospital within meters of each other. I suppose it's uh, good to keep your emergency services close by. 100 million visits on this game, that is pretty impressive. But then I suppose this was probably before games like Maple Hospital blew up. So this was the big hospital roleplay game, I suppose, of 2018 and 2019. Home or away, eat healthy every day. Some good inspirational quotes on the wall and we can get ourselves a meal. The hospital is actually a lot smaller than I expected, but I suppose it has everything you need. 
We've got some houses around the outside, a playground. And is this a dentist? I think it is. Oh yeah, okay. Well, that sure was interesting. Feel free to comment below which was your favorite out of the eight games we played. Well, one of them was a scam, unintentionally, but out of the seven others, which did you enjoy the most? Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the latest Roblox roleplays, and comment below if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. See you next time. Bye!